The good news is found in Article 6, where we talk about atonement. Atonement is a very important and deep subject for Christians, and in a basic sense means reconciliation. We believe that when Jesus chose to die on the cross, he made a full atonement for our sins, which makes it possible to repair our relationship with God. Atonement is offered to everyone, and it is the only way to receive eternal life in heaven. Entrance into heaven is granted automatically to innocent children and those who are incapable of moral responsibility. Those who reach the age of moral responsibility and are capable of it must truly regret their sins, which is to repent and believe in Jesus to gain eternal life in heaven. Article 7 explains that human beings are created in God's image, and with this, they have the ability to choose between right and wrong. This ability makes us responsible for our choices. When Adam and Eve chose to disobey God, their nature became corrupt, and they could not repair the relationship with God. We believe that through Jesus, God gives something called prevenient grace to everyone in the world, and it gives us the ability to turn away from sin, believe in Jesus for forgiveness of sin, and to do good works. Article 8 discusses repentance. Repentance, which is demanded from all sinners, means sincerely changing the way you look at sin. When you view sin correctly, you feel guilty about having it in your life and willingly turn away from it. We believe the Spirit of God helps all those who will repent by giving them sorrow and regret over their sins, as well as the hope of forgiveness, so they may believe and gain spiritual life. We believe that everyone can choose to give up the gift that God has given us. Even if we have gained spiritual life and were once fully devoted to God, if a person chooses to give up this gift, he or she must repent of their sins again and believe again or they will be lost forever without hope. We further believe that saved persons don't have to return to sin, but can live in a continuous relationship with God through the power of the Holy Spirit within them. Article 9 covers what we believe about justification, regeneration, and adoption. Justification is when God forgives us for our sins. When we are forgiven, our relationship with Him is repaired. Regeneration is the change in us that makes us spiritually alive and capable of faith, love, and obedience to Jesus. Adoption is when God counts us as one of His children. Justification, regeneration, and adoption all happen at the same time and can only be had through repentance and faith. The presence of the Holy Spirit in someone is evidence that these things have taken place.